Hey everyone, my head's cut off. Sorry about that. Model Man Frank here. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm, I know I said I was going to go live tonight. It's Sunday night. Um, had some family issues that I have to attend to. And uh, tonight was just not one of those nights I wanted to really go live and, and cut it short. Um, I figured that what I'd do is put out a video of what I'm working on. And uh, that way you guys can see what's going on. Um, these are the plans for the air coupe. Um, I built the wing and the fuselage. So it doesn't call for it, but what I did is I put sheet uh, of uh, balsa wood on the leading edge of this aircraft. It needed a little bit more rigidity and the, act, the real aircraft actually does have a leading edge that has uh, aluminum along the leading edge. So I figured I would mimic the uh, real airplane also with uh, balsa wood, not aluminum, uh, along the leading edge. Um, these here are for the servos and that's for the uh, ailerons. Each aileron is built uh, already and I also have the landing gear already bent out for it. The landing gear uh, posts will be here, will be going here. This is the wire for the landing gear. Okay, as you can see, it's already bent out. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cover the wing um, on this side, and then what I'm going to do is actually wire it. At, once I cover the wing on one side, the opposite side I'll cover later. Uh, the aircraft wing is virtually very well straightened out. There's no um, bowing to it, like in some aircraft, it's, it's done very well. Um, with the fuselage, what I've done is I added sheet uh, balls to the fuselage side. Um, and I'm also trying to do a little bit of straightening because if you look at the tail, it's a little bit off it has a little bit of a bend to it and I don't want the plane to start doing, I'm gonna ha basically have to do a lot of trimming and I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna be, at this point in time, to uh, what I'm gonna be doing is cutting this, the stringers on this side off and straightening out the tail little by little. What I did here is that because there was so much flexing going on in the ribs and the ribs are so brittle, they were breaking every time I would hold the model. So knowing that this was gonna happen, knowing in my head that this was gonna happen, what I decided to do was put uh, uh, balls of sheeting on the side of it to make it, to give it some structure to the frame. So it'll have balls of sheeting all up around here and around here and also around this area also. It'll give it some more rigidity to the frame. Um, it won't impede on the weight of the aircraft or the flying characteristics of the aircraft. It'll actually probably make it a lot better. So, and it'll be easier to handle. Um, when you buy this kit, you know, it comes with uh, the, uh, you know, all the stringers and formers, but it doesn't tell you to add anything. I'm telling you right now, you really want to add You really want to add some some when you're building this Dumas kit. You really want to add some uh, some uh, balsa to the uh, to the uh, to the stringers. Give it a little bit more rigidity. And from what I've done, it really has helped. And I I can feel it when I kind of twist, give it a little strengthening. So now um, after I'm done filling the wings up, I'm going to be putting some balls of sheeting on here and on this side, and also just finishing it off on uh, these two sides. I am gonna be putting in a, a steerable uh, front wheel, um, which will have a servo for it. I already have the motor picked out for it. It's sitting around here somewhere. I think I put it back in my, in my, in my toolbox. But I've already picked out the motor, which motor it'll be, and it will take, for that motor, it will, it'll be a, 18, uh, three cell, 1800 battery. Um, that's really all I really need for that much, uh, 
for this airplane because it's very light. So with that said, let's uh, keep on going.